I here? Well, I'm part of Makers Rock this year. So I have this album cover that I am going to be making. It is my torn jeans and the album is simple, not easy. I printed the album off 12 by 12 and now I've cut out most of all of the pieces and I gathered a whole bunch of wood. And I'm just gonna start matching the colors as much as I can and then I think I'll be doing some painting or something or staining to help with some colors that I can't get naturally. I just started using the peel and stick on the pieces of wood, which I really like, but uh, for these little tiny pieces, it's not gonna be easy to use. So I'm gonna use the blue tape again. So I put the blue tape over the pieces of wood and then use 3M77 spray glue to attach them to the tape. This stuff is really sticky and the tip of my large tweezers is all gummed up with glue. I still managed to get some on my fingertips somehow. Then I took those pieces over to the scroll saw and cut them out. And here are the pieces with the papers still attached. Well, I have a piece of 12 by 12 pine that husband actually prepared for me. And I'm thinking that I want to have some routering here. So I'm gonna attach this to this and figure out how I'm gonna do this part. Yeah. I used the 3M77 again. And I'm gonna glue it right to it because I want to. Which is code for, I'm not sure I want to router through the blue tape. I routered around the window and then took off everything lower than the window so the window would be proud of the background. I could have just made it out of an intarsia, but I, I don't know why I do it this way. Then I sanded that flat area off Oh, and I plan to router out the band name too, My Torn Jeans. So I started on the letters which I thought were turning out great. At this point I used a piece of carbon paper to mark the horizontal lines and where the characters are placed. Then routed out those horizontal lines. I put sanding sealer over the areas I was going to be painting so it wouldn't soak into the pine so much. Then I started painting the background and the letters. When I added the second coat to the letters, I decided to make the letters using the scroll saw instead. I routed away the existing letters and inset a little area that I could paint black where the letters would sit. Next, I shaped all the scroll saw pieces using the pneumatic drum sander. Then I hand sanded everything with 100, 150, and 220. There was a lot of red, so I used some walnut Danish oil on the man's hair to make it a tad darker. Then I used blue acrylic paint and put it on the jeans. I mixed up some red and white for pink and got the dress ready to paint. Then I worked on the background a little more.
After it was dry, I put it all together to see how it looked and then prepared to put some finish on. I've got some of the gel clear coat sparkly wipe on and I'm going to try it. Yikes, it looks scary-ish. Scary-ish. Ooh, I like it. So far. Alrighty. I applied a coat to each piece, except the pink dress. I printed off some musical notes. It's not exactly like her dress is on the album, but I think, I'm hoping this will work. So I heat transferred right over the top of that pink paint. Okay. Huh. Neat. I like it. Then I painted the little sticker face in the window. I heat transferred the simple, not easy sign lettering. Then added a verse to the back since my wood burner was all nice and hot. Most of these songs are really sad, and this is my son's album, so it's hard for a mother to listen to this stuff, but my son assures me that he is fine. But for those who find themselves singing these songs, I would hope this verse would also be something they may sing. It is Psalm 25, 16 through 18, which says, Turn to me and have mercy on me, because I am lonely and hurting. My troubles have grown larger. Free me from my problems. Look at my suffering and troubles and take away all my sins. Life is just like the album's title. Simple, not easy. Then I added my logo and signed and dated it. Finally, I was ready to glue, so I wiped everything down with a tack cloth to remove the dust and started gluing. I used some black acrylic paint to darken the letters on the sign that says simple not easy. I also added the girl's bracelet, darkened up her sandal laces, and added the mouth to the dude. Then I added the black dots that are all over the album with my wood burner, and painted in the highlight that's shining on the glasses of the guy, and the white on the buffalo face. My Torn Jeans Simple Not Easy album is all done! And it was a lot of fun doing it. And so make sure that you check out all of the other makers that have joined in Makers Rock, making an album cover of their choice and out of the material of choice. So we'll see you next time. Bye!